Eight o'clock, Monday, March 24, 2014. I hereby call the city That's council awesome. to order. Please stand up, root the flag, hats uh, removed, please. I pledge allegiance to the, allegiance to the, the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> please, uh, please be seated, councilors. Before we start the agenda item, I'd like to take a uh, moment of silence. City of Brockton lost Harold Crivet. Harold was a great guy, and he was a uh, retired Brockton Fire Department uh, personnel. If we could take a moment of silence for Mr. Cribbins and his family. May he rest in peace. Thank you. Councilors, again, before we start agenda item uh, number one, we have uh, a couple guests joining us here today. Uh, we have uh, the Brockton Basketball Club, a group of... Uh, Great youths here in the city of Brockton that are doing wonders, coached by uh, Jacob Tagger and uh, Sterling Marshall. And uh, they're uh, in a playoff right now. They keep winning and winning and winning. They're champions within the city of champions. If the coaches are here, if you could please uh, come forward, I'd appreciate it. I know the council would appreciate it as well. Councilors, I invited these young men here tonight because, again, they're exemplifying the good things of the city of Brockton, and I want to uh, welcome them. This is your chamber. We only use it on Monday nights. Uh, coaches, uh, thank you for being here. If you could uh, say a few words, Coach Tagger. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to also recognize Coach Adam Portrait, um, who's with us with the sixth grade team. Um, what I do want to say, first and foremost, is thank you um, to you for inviting us here. Um, you know, we go through day and day as grown-ups, and a lot of times we forget about the kids and the good things they do. And we read the paper, and we hear about bad things, and we hear about negative things. But we do have young men in the city. These young men, and there's a lot more. These aren't the only ones, but there's a lot more young people in our city that do a lot of positive things. Um, we've had a couple of tournaments. These young men have behaved like gentlemen. They've made our city, myself, their families, also, their families are here. Their families are absolutely incredible. They, they deserve a round of applause. We were in one game last week. I got nervous. It was the, the stands were so loud. It was probably about a group of 15 parents. And it, was, it was no joke. Brock then, Brock. It was great. Um, I do also want to mention something that one of our young men um, did when we was in a hotel. Uh, last week down the Cape. Um, his name's Tyshawn. I would like for him to come forward. Come here. Something this young man did while we were in the hotel, I think it was the it was Bayside Resort down the Cape, and there were teams from other towns, other states, and they were running around the hotel, you know, being kids, normal kids. And our team started, they wanted to get a little rambunctious. And this young man pulled his team together and said, listen, you guys, we got to be on our best behavior. We're representing our city and our family. And, and it was just a, it was a very proud moment for me just as a Brocktonian to see a young person who's, you know, this is our future. We're all getting old here. You know, <laughs> these are going to be the people that keep our, our legacy going. And I was very proud of this young man for doing that. And he did it on his own. So I want to make sure I give him a... Yeah. Uh, Then one other thing, I had to bring Jaheim up here because he has a question for the city council president. So, oh, whoa, oh, here we go. Nobody's watching. I have this trophy, but I have one request. Can you take a selfie with us? <laughs> I couldn't hear it. said a selfie. A selfie? A selfie. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. It's when you take a... I know what a selfie a, is. You yeah. know what a selfie is? I'm an old man, but I know what it is. Well, technically, it's going to be more than one of us, so it's a groupie. That's what groupie. the kids yeah. tell me. It's a selfie or yeah. groupie. Selfie. All right, yeah, they want to... 
Actually, what actually like all the city councils do, I don't know if anybody's ever taken a group or a selfie in City Hall. Yeah, you know what we'll do? We're, we're going to take a two-minute recess. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to just say you, you guys are dressed impeccably tonight, and you bring great honor and pride, not just to your family and to those here tonight, but to the city of Brock, and you're all winners. You've had a great season. I know you keep going. I want to thank you guys. I want to thank the coaches. We'll do that groupie selfie in about two seconds. But thank you again for being here. Thank you. I'm going to call a two-minute recess. I hereby bring us back into full city council. Uh, council Dubois. Thank you, um, city council president. Um, my name, um, I would like to have Ariana Jones come to the podium, please. I have the distinct honor this evening of presenting a citation to Ms. Ariana Jones on behalf of the city council, and it says, the City of Brockton official citation. Be it known that the Brockton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to Ariana Jones for winning first place in the school, city, and district competitions in National History Day's Senior Individual Exhibit. In recognition of her report on World War II, rights and responsibilities of women at war and on the home front. And be it known further that the City Council extends its best wishes for continued success that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Council and attested to and a copy thereof transmitted by the Clerk of the City Council. So Ariana has won not just one, not just two, but three yes. competitions so far. And she's going to tell you a little bit about it and the one that's coming up next. Hi. Good evening. Thank you for coming. Good evening. Thank you. Um, I'd like to start off by saying when I went to my school competition, I moved on to compete against other schools in the South Shore District. And on that day, I spent a lot of time around other schools who considered Brockton lower than them, and they felt that they were higher above us. And that made me proud to say that I came in first place for the South Shore District, and I can now represent Brockton while I compete against the other districts in Massachusetts to prove that 
we're not below everyone else that surrounds us. going to come down and I'm going to give you the citation but just before I do I just want to congratulate you one more time Thank for you your academic much. success and also just put a plug in for your mom and dad um, <laughs> Tina and Dwayne who have been wonderful parents to you and I'm sure it rolls into your ability to excel in school. So yes, thank you. very much. Thank you for being here today. Ms. Thank, thank you for having me. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you. Councillor Cruz. Make a motion to take item 1 through 12 collectively. Second. Motions were made, properly seconded, to take agenda items number 1 through 12 collectively. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, please raise your hand. That matter uh, is accepted. 1 through 12, Mr. Clerk, please. <laughs> Gary oh. Keith of Brockton Planning Board, five year term, ending March 2019. Ollie Spears, Brockton Planning Board, five year term, ending March 2019. Ross Messina, Brockton Planning Board, Chairman in March 2019. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the, the clerk is reading, please. Thank you. Craig Pina, Brockton Conservation Commission, Chairman ending March 2017. Bernie Hassan, Brockton Water Commission, Chairman ending 2017. Stephen Hope, Emergency Management Director, City of Brockton. Lisa Shea. Brockton Cable Advisory Board, term ending March 2017. Uh, Manuel Centiel, Brockton Community Cable, ending March 2017. Morton Schleffer, Commission for a three-year term on the Brockton Traffic Commission, 2017. Ireland of Ontario, a Constable, City of Brockton, term of three years. And Polonese is a Constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years. <coughs> Councils, this uh, collectively is one, two, three, 5 through 12. Number 4 is not included in this collective. Uh, 1 through 3, 5 through 12 are hereby all referred to finance. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Number 4, please. <coughs> Caleb Yunes, 191 Prospect Street, to the Brockton Conservation Commission for a three year term ending March 27. That is also referred to finance, counselors. Reappointment of Kenneth Galligan. Brockton to the Brockton Traffic Commission for three-year term ending March 2017. Referred to finance. Reappointment of William Thomas, Jr. Brockton is a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years. That, too, is referred to finance. Reappointment of David Lynch of Brockton is a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years. Referred to finance, councils. Reappointment of O.C. Jordan, the Brockton Water Commission for a three-year term ending March 2017. Referred to finance, committee. Reappointment of Robert J. Harrington, Brockton, as a member of the Board of Assessors for a three-year term ending March 2017. That also referred to finance. Reappointment of Kettle LeGrace, the constable in the city of Brockton, term of three years. Referred to finance, councils. President, Mr. Stadetsky. If I might, I'd like to move that we uh, remove from the table the petition of National Grid and Verizon for one poll down on uh, Papa Sargent's way. It was tabled because of a, a, a missed number that was sent in, and it's been corrected, and the clerk will read it. The Motion made by Councilor Stadetsky. Second, Second is made. I'll take it off the table. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, I'll take it off the table. Thank you, Council. Petitioner's file was by National Grid of Verizon England <coughs> proposing to install what they said was a 45, a Scrivener's error, not 45 poles, but in fact a 45 foot pole. That has been corrected. So it's a 45 foot two, uh, class 2 joint own pole from existing pole in Oak Hill Way, approximately 20 feet plus or minus. In Council February 24th, 2014. Councilor Studinsky, motion to table the matter. Councilor Neary, second. The motion, motion carries. Time having arrived to declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor of this matter? If so, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Good evening. My name is Jose Vasquez. I'm, a, I'm on behalf of National Grid, representing to uh, petition this poll. Uh, the reason for this poll is uh, we're going to serve a uh, solar farm so as to um, extend primary to the customer's property. Thank you, sir. If I might, Mr. Councilor. Uh, the energy that you're going to be bringing through that pole, where does it come from? It is coming from the existing three-phase line um, on the street, and we're going to tap off and go, and it's going to feed a three-phase solar farm. And where is it coming from? It's coming solar from our farm? Yeah. 
Uh, thank you very much. No Is there anyone else here in favor of this matter? If so, please come forward to state your name to the clerk. Is there anyone here in opposition of this matter? If so, please come forward to state your name to the clerk. Matters come going to come before us at the conclusion of the uh, meeting tonight. We'll vote on it tonight at the end. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Number, 20, uh, number 19, please. Read old petition of Community Cabbage DBA Collins Taxi, located at 383 Warren Avenue, Brockton, for eight taxi licenses and council, March 24, 2014. That's referred to public safety councils. Institution of Lubris Auto Body and Repair for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical Body License located at 64 Elliott Street and Clerk's Office January 28, 2014. Hearing is signed for March 24, 2014. Mr. President. Councilor. Um, I would like to make a motion to move this to the end of the agenda. Second. Motion is made properly seconded to take number 20 at the end of the uh, evening tonight, number, number uh, the last one on the agenda. All in favor of that, please raise your hand. All opposed, that matter carries. We're going to put that at the end of the agenda tonight, Mr. Clerk. Petition to Manley Street Holdings, LLC, for a garage license at 97 Manley Street in City Clerk's Office, February 4, 2014. Hearing is signed for March 24, 2014 at 8 p.m. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward and state your name for the clerk. Anyone here tonight in the chamber relative to this matter? Through the, uh, through the chair. The attorney for that petition called and able to make it. But this is a uh, transfer of garage license. It goes with the property. So it's, uh, it's uh, automatic, in fact. Counselor, do you have any questions for the clerk? He just clarified why there's no one here tonight. Any, any issue with that? Counselor Yanieri. Well, well, I do because it's located in Ward 3 and it is uh, in my area. So I have some questions. If anything, then we can uh, table it and move it to the next uh, uh, city council meeting. Want to table it or continue it, Council? We'll continue it to the next meeting. Second. Okay. In the form of a motion, it's been properly seconded. Continue this to the next FinCon meeting. All in favor of continuance, all opposed. That motion is uh, passed. It's going to be hereby continued to the first FinCon in April. Thank you, Councillor. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting on March 17, 2014. That's accepted and placed on file. Report of the Audits Committee for its meeting on March 18, 2014. That also accepted and placed on file. Application from the Director of Personnel verifying that based on the current personnel employee benefits, unemployment compensation appropriation has a surplus of $12,000. Councillor is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor submitting a resignation letter from Fred Fontaine from the License Commission effective March 17, 2014. Council, that is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor submitting a resignation letter from Paul B. Marion from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Also accepted and placed on file. Uh, communication from the mayor submitting a resignation letter from Nathan Odiago from Brockton Cultural. Cultural. That's accepted and placed on file. From the mayor submitting a resignation letter from Kelly Allwood Ford from the Conservation Commission. Accepted and placed on file. The mayor submitting a resignation letter from Scott D. Ford from the Planning Board. Council, that also is accepted and placed on file. An ordinance amending Article 19 of the revised ordinances of the City of Proctor be ordained by the City Council of the City of Proctor as follows. Chapter 119, Police Department, and Council January 27, 2014, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report was favorable as amended with a substitute ordinance. Mr. President. Council Monahan. I'd like to make a motion to refer this to Finance. Second. Second. Motions were made, properly seconded, to send this back to the Finance Committee. If you're in favor of that motion, please raise your hand. Please raise your hand just so we can get a vote. If you're opposed, please raise your hand. That's going to carry. It goes back to the Finance Committee meeting. Council, you want that in the first FedCom, first of uh, the first month? First FedCom, yes. Yes, it's back to the okay. first. If we can tell the clerk, you did, Councilor Monahan. You want that first bed come in April. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Point of Marlene M.D. of Heverdab, Brockton, Council of Agent, three-year term, and in March 2017. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. Councilor's questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. 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 Councilors, the matter, uh, the appointment is hereby confirmed. 
appointment of Christopher Koska, 12 Montello, Brockton, Historical Commission for three-year term in March 2017. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, the question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Yes. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Council's appointment is hereby confirmed. Appointment of Mary Beth O'Brien to the Brockton Historic District Commission for your term in March 2017. And Council March 10th, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, the question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Azan. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Appointment is hereby confirmed. Appointment David Zaff to the Brockton Conservation Commission, three-year term, ending March 2017. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Azaf. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Appointment is hereby confirmed, Councilors. Appointment of Maria Harris, the Brockton University Commission, three-year term ending March 2017. And Council March 10th referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Azaf. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Appointment is hereby confirmed, Councilors. Appointment of Paul Marion to the Brockton License Commission as an alternate for a three-year term in March 2017. And Council March 10th referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, this is uh, appointment question it also is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Council's appointments hereby confirmed. The appointment of Lorraine Lally to the Brockton Council and Agent for a three year term ending March 2017. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Uh, Council's questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Squad. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. yes. Sullivan. Yes. Reappointment is hereby confirmed, Councillors. Reappointment of Irene Clay to the Proctor Council and Agent for three year term ending March 2017. And Council March 10th refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councillors, questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you please read the roll. Azaf. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. 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 Reappointment is hereby confirmed, Councillors. Appropriation of $3,500 from the National Association of County and City Health Officials, Department of Health and Human Services Grant Fund, to the City of Brockton Board of Health Medical Reserve Corps Grant Fund, and Council March 10, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councillors, questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Hey, Zach. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. 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 Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Appropriations hereby adopted, Councils. Transfer of $8,850 from the Traffic Commission Ordinary Maintenance, Public Safety, to Traffic Commission Personal Services, Overtime, in order to correct and continue making payments previously paid out of the incorrect Ordinary Maintenance Line item of Public Safety to public property employees doing work for the Traffic Commission. In Council March 10, 2014, refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's transfer question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azaf. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Squad. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. <laughs> transfer is hereby adopted, Councils. An appropriation of funds up to $750,000 in excess of amounts already appropriated and in addition to the amount of $1 million previously authorized under Mass General Laws 4331D by City Council for deficit spending in February 2014 for DPW Highway Snow Removal. 
for the purpose of fiscal 2014 snow removal in accordance with Chapter 44, Section 31D of the Mass General Laws. In Council, March 10, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's appropriation question is uh, on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Manary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Collins. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Council's appropriation is hereby adopted. Ordered that the common necessity and the convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out of Eastfield Drive. That's referred to finance. Ordered that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out of Fairbanks Road. Council, that too is referred to finance committee. We have a transfer of $11,864 from Personnel Department Employee Benefits Unemployment to Mayor's Department Personal Services in order to pay for separation costs paid to Mayor Belzotti staff. Constance, that's referred to Finance Committee. We have a resolve that the real estate custodian, Attorney Benjamin Albanese, Patriots Way Mansfield, be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss the position of real estate custodian and his plan of how he will undertake to fulfill the duties and responsibilities of this position. That is referred to Finance Committee Councils. We have resolved the mayor, the treasurer collector, and the acting auditor be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss the position of real estate custodian and to provide financial, administrative, and historical information about the position of real estate custodian. That too is referred to finance. Number 20 comes back before us, council. Uh, is, the, is the hearing opened or? I'm going to do it right now. Counselor. Thank you so much. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here, this is again the, the petition relative to 64 Elliott Street. Hearing is now open. If there's anyone here in favor of that, please come forward. Come forward right to the podium, please, sir. I just state your name for the clerk. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Could you just come and speak into the mic? That'd be great. Okay. Yes. Your name? Louis Vicente. Your name, sir? Emmanuel Vicente. Address? Uh, I put, uh, home. home at 18 Farrington Street. Thank you, gentlemen. <coughs> Mr. President, yes. um, um, at this time, do I do the stipulations or after the hearing? Do it afterwards, Council. Then I, that's, then I, thank you for being here, gentlemen. I'm sorry that we were not able to meet before this meeting like typically um, occurs, so I appreciate um, the Council's indulgence so we could talk about hours of operation. Um, historically, we've had some problems with this address with uh, cars being parked outside and an a address that had previously been a commercial location. There have been houses that built, oh. have been built all around it, so it's really a commercial use embedded in a residential neighborhood, which in, in my, my estimation, I hope someday will, will cease its use as an auto body, but I understand that you are here to talk about getting this garage license, and I think that the parameters that we discussed are going to at least help a little bit. So thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Anyone else here in favor? If so, please come, in, come to the podium, state your name for the clerk. Anyone here in favor? Seeing none, I'm going to call that uh, part of the hearing closed. Anyone here in opposition relative to this, this matter? If so, please come forward, state your name to the clerk. Seeing none, that's closed. I'm going to uh, bring it back to you, Council. Um, Mr. President, at this time I would like to add the following stipulations onto this license. Um, stipulation 1, the hours of operation will be Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., no work on Sunday. The spray booth is not to be used prior to 9.30 or after 4 p.m., no cars outside of the building, including those that are connected to clients of the business or employees. Thank you. Council Stewart. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> uh, I just have questions concerning uh, the, the restrictions on your license, and I want to make certain that you're clear what they represent. So mm -hmm. I've, this is my third term on the City Council. Uh, I've had situations where small business owners have agreed to license restrictions and in my point of view haven't been able to make money 
because those restrictions are too stringent. And so they ended up breaking their license requirements. And in turn, they've lost their license. Um, and I know that a lot of small business owners have their homes and other personal effects attached to their businesses. And so when they've lost their business license, they end up losing their homes. And we have Brockton families on the street and things like that. So I want to make certain that you understand what those restrictions are, that we have a pretty um, intense code enforcement team that ensures that those restrictions are adhered to. So are, so are you certain that you can make money with the restrictions that have been discussed tonight? I'm going to explain to him. Okay, please. So if you could just speak into the microphone, I'd appreciate that. Just to the mic. Uh, yes. You understand? And you do understand that you do not have to accept these restrictions. You can go back to the city council um, and try to nego negotiate restrictions that are more favorable to your business. You understand that, right? If I'm looking Yes. Okay. Great. Um, so again, you have restrictions on the hours you're operating and also a restriction that I, I don't think I've heard before where you cannot, and I think I understood this correctly, you cannot park any vehicles outside of the business at any time. Is that what I heard, uh, Port of Information, Mr. Brown? me to you, Councilor. That is what you heard. The building is enormous, and you can fit, what, like 40 cars inside? Is that correct? How many cars can you fit inside? I think that the, um, the department has that on record. You can fit a lot of cars inside. There is no parking outside. It's, street, it's right out onto the street. The building goes right to the edge of the street, and there is no parking lot. It's all residential housing around it. In the real world, this business shouldn't even be in this neighborhood. Um, but Brockton zoning is such that it's placed this commercial use that puts out a lot of particulate and pollutants mm -hmm. into the air right in the middle of a residential neighborhood. So the, the spray booth time requirements were put on so children going to and from school won't have to deal with the added pollution. So that is why um, I limited it before 9, 9.30. I wanted to put it not after uh, 3 o'clock, but we negotiated to 4. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. So again, I just want to make sure you understand the restrictions, that you can make money at it, and we're not putting you in a situation where uh, we're setting you up for failure instead of, instead of success. Okay, well, well, thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, thank you, Councilor. Councilor Council Rodriguez. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Lewis, I, I heard you translating, and I'm just following up with, the, with what Councilor Stewart was talking, uh, asking you those questions. You turned to your brother. He's your brother, right? Yes, it is. And you're translating some things to him, but somehow you stopped translating it. Can you, uh, does it, do you understand exactly what you're saying? Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. I was basically just saying if you understand exactly what he was saying, because I, he was in the middle of translation, and I don't think he finished the translation. So, and I, I, and I echo the sentiments of uh, Councillor Stewart, because being involved in this community, I want to make sure that you guys don't come knocking on the door, you know, a month from now saying that the city is doing some, you know, some wrongful things to you guys. So I just want to make sure that you understand that when you sign that dotted line, it's, it becomes a legal document and you have to abide by it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Council. Thank you very much. Council Bond. Uh, yes, just to understand, this is the building that's um, right by the bridge, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. So, uh, I guess through the chair to Council Dubois, the no parking outside of the building, does that also cover across the street, right there where the inlet is for that open area? It does. That is actually city property, and people should not be parking there. Okay. Um, that does include that. The, the, just so everybody knows, this spray booth time requirements was on the previous in, owner of um, operator on this license, and it has been a big problem with this location, and the building is, is pretty big, so. Are you good, Council? Yes, yes, thank, thank you. Thank you, Council Barnes. Any other questions? Council Dubois? I would like to make a motion to accept the stipulations. Second. Second. Uh, motions the conditions. Were motions were made properly second to accept the conditions. Uh, the matter uh, now comes on a vote relative to accepting the stipulations and conditions there too. All in favor of the stipulations, raise your hand. All opposed, raise your hand. That matter carries. 
Now the matter comes before us, uh, granting the petition with the conditions attached thereto. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, please raise your hand. That petition is hereby granted. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Council, now the, uh, the matter relative to uh, the tabled matter that Council Stanitsky took off relative to the light pole. All in favor of granting that one single light pole, please raise your hand. All opposed, please raise your hand. That matter is going to uh, carry. Granted the light pole. Going to take a two second, uh, two minute recess, please. Constance, I have uh, two late files that I'm going to file, and I hope that uh, you'll accept those, uh, those motions. Uh, I had a uh, personnel matter of my family last week, so I was not able to, uh, to get this into the clerk timely, but uh, I'm going to make a motion. I hope uh, someone will second it. Second. Back in. I'll make a motion. <laughs> motion was made, properly seconded for uh, two late files. All in favor of the late files, please raise your hand. All opposed, matter carries. Too late, files. Thank you. Resolved that the DPW Commissioner, Mike, Mr. Mike Thorson, Water Superintendent, Mr. Larry Raleigh, Mr. Jason Glonowski, a resident of the city, come before the Finance Committee to discuss the current status of water pressure and water issues throughout the city of Brockton. Resolved that the city's chief financial officer, solicitor, treasurer collector, come before the Finance Committee to discuss payment in lieu of taxes, the pilot programs, and how they may be implemented between the city and certain non tax paying entities located within Brockton, both the filed by Councillor Robert F. Sullivan. Councillors, those are both referred to Finance Committee. Anything else before us tonight, Councillors? Mr. President. Council Dubois. I'd like a moment of personal privilege. You may have it. Um, I just want to announce to my fellow councillors and those watching at home that the next real estate committee meeting will be occurring on April 2nd, which is a Wednesday, here at City Hall in the back room right there at 7 p.m. So that's a real estate committee meeting at 7 p.m. on April 2nd. And also, um, this Wednesday, um, April, March 26th, Sixth at 6:30, um, Councillor Dennis Napoli and myself, Michelle Dubois, will be hosting a joint ward meeting at the Mary Baker School at 6:30 this coming Wednesday, and I hope that as many of you can make it um, as possible. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councillor. Councillors, uh, myself and uh, my colleague, Councillor Stewart, before we came here, we attended a very, very uh, Nice ceremony. Uh, Chief of Staff Buckley who was there as well at the West Li at the main library. I wish it was the West Library. The main library relative to the Brockton Garden Club in the 85th uh, anniversary. 85 years that uh, group has been uh, beautifying and better the city of, Bro city of Brockton. So uh, those ladies and gentlemen uh, deserve a round of applause. Anything else before us tonight? Seeing none. Hearings, uh, matters closed.